Hello everybody, this is Dr. Bob DiMaria with another episode of Ask Dr. Bob some very fascinating questions. This first one I've never had before. An individual was taking B vitamins and they're having chronic bladder challenges and then there was a variety of foods that um, this person was questioning like they could drink coffee doesn't bother it, alcohol doesn't bother it, acid foods don't bother it, but the B vitamins do. Now there's a lot of possibilities. It could be the type of B vitamin you're doing. It could even be the yeast in the B vitamins. It could be that the B vitamins are irritating the lining of your bladder or just creating some kind of distress in your system. You know, I would uh, encourage you to have a urine analysis done and see if there is any type of an infectious process. But what I have seen so many times, especially with chronic bladder challenges, is parasites. A lot of times we'll see individuals that have parasites that have chronic bladder irritation. You may consider having a stool sample done to see if you do have parasites, but that is something that you might want to um, have done just to make sure that that's not the issue. Now, here is another one that was quite interesting. We had a 54-year-old individual who was having chronic left neck pain, and they mentioned to me that they had been going to a chiropractor for a long time, they're fatigued, cannot lose weight, and they did cut out sugar, and they were on iodine. So, you know, there's lots of possibilities, but we always find left neck and mid-back pain usually tends to be a pancreas issue. It could be watermelon, which is fruit. It could be yogurt. could be dairy. Most of the time, we find that it definitely is a food sensitivity. You may consider some food allergy type of testing. We have a test that we use in our practice, which is a food stressor, some biocommunication testing. Sometimes one person's passion could be another person's poison. I'll give you an example. We had someone using coconut oil. Wonderful for most people, but when we did a food stressor to her, the coconut oil was causing her chronic bladder infection. So this could almost answer the question above. So whatever food that you're eating on a consistent basis actually could be creating an endorphin release which causes you to crave those food more but give you an example the pancreas could be aggravated by any kind of dairy protein sugar so we have to really find out what food because food will cause pain it's called food and function so we had a, a someone contacted me because their 86 year old mother had trigeminal neuralgia which is pain in the face most of the time we see a lot of this facial pain obviously could be some misalignment in your neck that impacts the whole body, but oftentimes it's a mineral need, especially calcium. So you may consider maybe a hair analysis to see what's going on with your mom. She may even have a thyroid issue or a parathyroid issue. She might even need vitamin D. All of those are involved with calcium absorption. Now, also check teeth because sometimes she could have had a, a process done even years ago. There could be an infection could be a root canal. Obviously you want to eliminate sugar. And I know I, I say this a lot, you might want to check her for parasites because people have parasites grind their teeth at night creating pain. Drill down for minerals. Okay, the last question was, is this person had sensitivity to IgG, which is a food tolerance. They had an issue with yeast and egg white and sometimes um, with egg yolk. And I wanted to know what my thoughts were. Well, one, you know, there's so many different reasons that people could have food sensitivities. A lot of times, we'll see what we call a leaky gut. Undigested food particles go through the system. You know, eggs are a protein, very easily irritating a lot of people. Yeast itself, part of that whole gluten scenario could be a part of your issue also. You may just consider having some testing done to see if you have any kind of leaky gut syndrome. I may encourage you to have an adrenal stress index done. That'll tell me how your adrenal glands are functioning because your adrenal glands help take away inflammation in your body. Just as a side note, if you decide to have a blood chemistry test done, one of the things that we have noticed in a marker we look for is a low carbon dioxide. And sometimes we support with L-glutamine, which helps improve gut toxicity, gut irritation. So I know it's a little bit vague with that because there are a lot of different possibilities. Once again, wonderful questions, and I know it'll make a difference in someone's life. And finally, soon and very soon, 
we're going to be releasing Dr. Bob's Guide to Prevent Surgery, the top 20 surgeries that we have noticed in my practice since 1978. This will be a phenomenal book. It will make a difference in your life. I'm Dr. Bob DiMaria.